So I've been thinking about all these threads on Facebook about how pine's toxic and everything you use it on is going to keel over and die. And Well, the fact is that I've been wondering why this is a thing, because personally, the entire time I've been keeping, I've been keeping my snakes on pine shavings in pine wooden boxes, feeding them rodents that have been raised by a commercial supplier who raises them on pine shavings too. Everything about my husbandry revolves around pine almost. So nothing's happened to me and people that have been doing this for like 20 years or so, far longer than I have, have had no issues either. So why then is this pine toxicity hysteria such a thing in the hobby? You know, how can we keep species that naturally live in pine forests, you know, sheltering under pine logs, under pine bark, under pine leaf litter. So why then do we take these species, keep them in captivity, and then panic about pine shavings? So I did a bit of looking into this. Now the issue is a chemical called phenol. Now this is contained within pines like Douglas fir and spruce. It's a natural bug repellent. Now this is what gives those pines that aromatic smell. When phenol is heated to high temperatures, it evaporates. So when it's been kiln dried, what that aim is, is to get moisture content down to like below 18%. What this does is it lowers the acidity of the wood and it lowers the phenol and other resinous materials content to a very low state, making it below safe levels. So when you see a shavings product advertised, you can be pretty sure that if it's advertised as heated at high temperatures or kiln dried, that the phenol content is going to be either very, very low or non-existent. They can never guarantee it's not there completely, but whatever happens is going to be below safe levels. So these pine shavings are safe. The only times you may have some little reason to be concerned is if you're bringing in things like spruce as an actual wood that you're going to use in the enclosure and it's still sappy and stuff. Just use an alternative wood. Use oak or use cork bark or something similar. That's the only time when the phenol has not been evaporated that it's any sort of concern. Apart from that, kiln dried shavings and sheet materials and things like that, you're good to go. The hysteria over pine being toxic in any circumstance needs to calm down. This is one of them folklore husbandry myths that have been spread and perpetuated so far that everyone's afraid to even look at pine shavings. Just just calm down, it's fine, it's been kiln dried. 